Thanks to Honor for sponsoring this video. Can you spot the difference between the screen on the left from the one on the right? What if we took a closer look? Maybe even closer than that. At this point, you should be able to tell that the screen on the right is doing something different, with these little blurry segments being added to its layers. This is a feature that Honor is calling AI Defocus Eye Protection, and it's debuting on the new Magic V3, the world's thinnest and lightest folding phone, with Honor claiming that with this tech that's nearly invisible to the naked eye, the phone's displays can not only be less straining on your eyes, but it could potentially reduce near work induced transient myopia. So myopia, or nearsightedness, is when a person is able to see things clearly up close, but when things are often into the distance, they appear blurry. This happens when the eye grows longer than it should, causing light that enters through the cornea to focus in front of the retina instead of directly on it like it would in a normal eye. Now, while myopia itself is nothing new, the amount of people who have the condition is growing at an alarming rate. According to research published by the National Institute of Health, it's predicted that by the year 2050, one out of every two people on Earth will be myopic. Why exactly this is happening is still an active area of research, but so far it seems like the main contributing factors are genetics, how much time is spent outdoors, and the extent of what's known as near work, or how long people look at things that are really close up to their face, which, you know, with the prevalence of smartphones, is arguably higher than ever. And it's this last factor of near work where Honor's AI defocused tech comes in, which I think to understand how it works and what it's trying to do, we first have to look at how myopia is corrected for to begin with, where for hundreds of years, it's been done with glasses, where concave lenses push the focal point for central vision back to the macula on the retina, restoring that sharp vision that we all know and love. However, due to the curved nature of the eye, these glasses also have the unintended effect of making the rest of the rays that hit the peripheral retina hyperopic, where the rays are focused behind the retina. Which, especially in young people whose eyes haven't stabilized yet, research suggests that this might actually stimulate the eye to grow more as it tries to correct for that hyperopia, which in turn only makes the myopia for central vision worse, creating this downward cycle. Now, to counter this, special glasses have been developed using what's called defocus incorporation multiple segments, or DIMMs for short, where tiny lenses or segments around the mid-peripheral part of the glasses defocus those rays to land in front of the peripheral retina instead of behind them, with the idea being that it'll help prevent the eyes from receiving that signal to grow. And while there's still a lot more research that needs to be done as this tech is relatively new, a study did find that kids who wore these defocused glasses had slower progression of their myopia compared to the control group, which is pretty promising. And it's this DIMS tech that Honor's AI defocus is based on. So what the phone does is essentially try to simulate what those defocus glasses do, but on screen using on-device algorithms that take into account factors like lighting and content type to add blurred segments to the different layers of the image. These little blurred segments aren't really visible to the naked eye. Like when we first got the phone, I was really looking for them and I just couldn't see them until we put it under a microscope, at which point it's obvious that the defocus feature is active. Where the background elements tend to be more blurred than the foreground elements, hard edges on objects or text get these subtle blue or yellow outlines, and apparently it changes the color of some things, like this white label on the monitor here, turning it yellow. Even though when I watched the video with my naked eye, I couldn't see it, I just saw it as white. The effect doesn't show up in every scene though. Sometimes the AI decides not to apply as heavy of an effect. Sometimes it only does it to part of the image. And then in one instance, it even changed the background color dramatically from orange to purple, which I will say is one time I did notice it doing it. So, you know, it's not perfect, but most of the time, it's something that you don't notice unless you put it under a microscope like we did. Now, at the moment, this feature doesn't work in every app. It only works in a handful like YouTube, but Honor says they plan on supporting more apps in the future. And you know, one thing that I think is worth noting is by using the feature, because it's actively adjusting things on the fly, it does tax the battery since the processor is constantly at work. So I'm not sure if it's something that you'd wanna keep on all the time. The phone suggests that you turn it on after like 30 minutes or so, but you have the option of turning it off or turning it on whenever you want. But you know, I think the big question with this is, 
does it actually work, right? Like obviously it's very different from those physical defocus glasses, which optically shape the light coming into your eye, where this one only simulates the effect on the screen through software. And after conducting tests in their labs, Honor thinks the evidence is compelling. They found that the feature not only reduced transient myopia by 13 degrees on average in a test group, so that's the temporary nearsightedness that sometimes you experience after doing near work, but they also found that the thickness of the central choroid, the vessel that supplies blood to the retina, actually thickened after 24 minutes of use with the feature on, where normally it gets thinner with near work. So it's kind of promising. And you know, studies have found an association between increased choroidal thickness and the slowing of myopia progression. But it's at this point in the video that I think I need to give you a big disclaimer. I'm not an eye doctor, and I think to be certain about something like this, there would have to be a lot more research done. But you know, I think the idea with this tech is if there's a chance that you can help reduce the progression of myopia, or at the very least, make a display less fatiguing on your eyes, given those DIMS glasses have been shown to reduce eye fatigue by 23%, then why not, right? Like you can always turn the feature off if you want. And since it's software based using AI, it doesn't add to the physical cost of the device. And I think it's great that Honor is looking out for eye health. They've been including features like ultra high PWM dimming for lower flicker, which the Magic V3, by the way, also has on both the inner and outer displays. And with this defocus tech, I think Honor's taken it one step further, even though features like these don't necessarily make for the most flashy marketing, which to me, that title can easily just go to the form factor itself. I mean, look at how thin this thing is. It's a folding phone, right? That is as thin as a bar phone and actually like than some bar phones, while having a standard size outer display, a massive 5150 milliamp hour battery, plus a periscope camera on the back. I can't talk about it in too much detail since a lot of it's under embargo, but what I can tell you about the phone is it's easily gonna be one of the top contenders in the foldable space, with the launch of the event being just around the corner on September 5th, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, that is it for me in this video. Big thanks to Honor for sponsoring it. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.